Hello, hello. Amy here with Amethyst Hayes Adventures, and tomorrow is cruise day. It is 8.30 on Saturday night, April 1st, and I am starting my journey down to Galveston. Um, figure I'll get more sleep this way, but I'll check in periodically, and yeah, we're driving. We'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all. Good morning. It's Amy from Amethyst Hayes Adventures, and I am sitting in the Texas City Bucky's. Um, I slept over here overnight. Um, I got up, I went into the bathroom, I changed, put my contacts in, brushed my teeth, did all that fun stuff. I rearranged some stuff to make my carry-on bag lighter. And now I'm headed over to the parking port. Yay! I'm so excited to see the ship. Come along. See y'all. Bye. It's me again. I'm at the cruise port and I can see the whale tail from here. Super excited. So I used, um... Port of Galveston parking, super easy. Like I did it online. It was like 80 bucks for the whole time. I came in, they scanned my little QR code. I'm parked right next to the shuttle area. I can see the ship. So let's do this thing. Bye y'all. In the words of Penny, definitely a 10. Hello, hello. I am on the ship. I am sitting in Serenity right now. I've done the mustard drill. I found lunch, um, which was amazing, and now I'm full. Um, had a little bit of ice cream or frozen yogurt, chocolate frozen yogurt. It's one of my favorites. My favorite is a strawberry chocolate combination, which will be available tomorrow. So I'll be having some of that tomorrow. Um, cause while I'm on this cruise, I'm following my intermittent fasting, but I'm eating what I want. Um, I will not be drinking alcohol, although it's very, the temptation is there so bad. And I didn't realize how bad it was going to be that I would want to, um, grab a drink. So one of the things that I wanted to look at is Behind the Fun is back on the Carnival Dream. However, it's at 9.30 on the last sea day. And Dr. Seuss at Sea was at 9.45. And I wanted to do the Dr. Seuss at Sea. I've done a Behind the Fun tour. Um, and I haven't done Dr. Seuss at Sea. And I managed to secure a ticket for Dr. Seuss at Sea. So I'm going to do that instead. But it, it was on the Dream. It was $130, she said. Um, and it's 9.30 on the last sea day. So I will leave you at that and I'm going to, I've just been relaxing in serenity and I think I'm going to start walking around and see what I can see. But this backpack with all this soda, it was really heavy and I still have an hour and a half before I can get in my room and dump it all off and switch um, to the more comfortable backpack, um, which this one's comfortable. It's just heavy with the 12 cans of Dr. Pepper, strawberry and creams zero. So I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all. So if you cruised on Carnival before COVID, these are the fun times that were in the room. Let me open it up. It's got all the food, music, everything going on, and everything going on here. And then after COVID, it was a one-sheeter front and back that they um, you picked up from Java Java Blue or um, the debt or a ser customer service desk. Um, guest services and now they're back in the room and they're the old style. So exciting.
Just had to sail away. I'm going back to my room, use the restroom, and do some other things. I've got blisters on the bottom of my feet already, um, and on the top. So take care of those. And yeah, we're officially on our way to Costa Maya. I'll check in later. So got a tiny problem. They did the pullout and took away my couch. So I need to find the room steward and say, hey, I need this taken away. I want my couch. <laughs> so we'll get that figured out because, well, I just need my bed. So um, I'm gonna guess because it was a last minute switch, um, they think that there's children in this room and there's not. So, yep, gonna go figure this out. <laughs> And here is tonight's dinner menu. Can you take a guess of what I could possibly have had? If you've seen me cruise before, you probably already know. Dreamiest ship in the carnival fleet. Are you excited for vacation? Are you excited for tonight's activities? Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you. Oh, who's going on an adventure in a pineapple under the sea? No, it's us. Surprise. Last year, it's not a potential, but you've got potential. We're getting old. Let's all wish a happy birthday to Carolyn. Let's see, let's see. Next number is G53. Five and three, G53. She said, ooh, ooh, shut up and dance. Just as exotic. Any guests? I'm from a very exotic place called Canada. Nova Scotia. Has anyone been there? 
If you haven't, don't bother, okay? There's nothing there but fish and beer. taken apart yay and i also have deliveries already i got a ship on the stick a medallion and my favorite chocolate covered strawberries which i can't eat till tomorrow so i'll put them in the little cooler and awesome but yay first day and i got a ship on a stick woohoo walking in this but I'm doing my second workout um, and we're in the middle of the golf. I'm very sunburnt as you can see um, but it was a good day. A little hiccups with like the room, um, dinner, the service was awful. No dinner, service was awful. Food, excellent. The food was really good. I had the braised br brisket and melted cake for dessert. It was so good. Um, and a salad and some uh, cheddar mashed potatoes. Service, I was the first one sitting down and I sat there for probably like five minutes or longer until I even got water. Um, all the other tables were helped before me and like helped immediately. And then the other two gentlemen joined my table and our server kept going out there and we're like, we're all by ourselves, we don't know. Um, took our order, took forever appetizer. I wasn't an app, no, it was, they opened the door 15 minutes early, so I was there for an hour and 15 minutes. Um, but ordered, and then salads came, ate those. Right as we were done with that, they dropped off the food, ate the food. I had to fill it with my own water, and I've never had to do that. Um, and then we waited a while. The third guy left because he didn't order dessert, and then dessert finally came. Um, I don't know what the deal was. Hopefully service is better tomorrow night, but wasn't impressed with their server, especially after having sugar on the horizon. It was just phenomenal to go into this. It was kind of crazy. Um, but it is what it is. So, but hopefully tomorrow night, the service will be better. It is formal night, so probably not because formal night's typically slower. So we'll see. Um, the Welcome to Board show was good. I was hesitant on my way. Just based on the, um, based on the, uh, sail away party, I wasn't too impressed. She kind of, re she redeemed herself in the, uh, Welcome Aboard show. Um, so we'll see how she is the rest of the cruise. But, yeah, it's going good, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Hello, hello, Amy here. And look at the water. End of day one. It's been a great day. Very tiring, exhausted, and the blisters on my feet are... There's something. So walking is going to be interesting the next few days. I'm um, going to do both my workouts outside. I'm sunburned. You can see it. I can't see it that well, but I mean, I bet you can tell. Um, but yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. I'm going to do my workouts, play trivia. Um, there's a show. It's Flick, I believe. Um, and just enjoy the day. Um, time to relax. And then on Tuesday, we go to Costa Maya. So I will explore Costa Maya. But we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.